Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my real time get ready with me. So I'm going to do my makeup without editing any of the video, well the makeup portion anyway. Um, I will edit this intro a bit just because my camera for some reason shuts off after about 26 minutes. Um, so if that happens I will warn you before it's about to shut off and then you'll know I'm about to switch it back on again. So that's the only way it's going to be kind of Anyway, the makeup will be interrupted, is that way. Um, I'm just doing makeup for this Get Ready With Me. Not, um, I'm not very experimental with hair, so that's why I'm not doing hair. I kind of almost do the same look every time, apart from I've got my hair straight today. So yeah, so I did leave a poll as to which like kind of palette you wanted to see, and without doubt it was the Rose Quartz from Ether Beauty. I am actually going to go to work after I film this, so it's going to be... I'm not going to make it really like natural, but I'm also not going to go super glam. So actually kind of like a real makeup look that I'm happy to wear to work. Sometimes I will put a bit more makeup on than usual um, and it's fine. Um, most of the time I could try and go relatively natural but um, yeah. If you did vote for one of the other palettes don't worry because what the next few videos I will kind of show them in action and stuff like that. That's what I did with the last poll. The palettes that didn't get picked I did use throughout the rest of the videos um, but this is the one that you all voted for so this is what I'm going to use. I've got some questions that you asked me as well to answer throughout this video so there's not too many silences whilst I'm blending and stuff. So if you're interested then please keep watching. Okay so from this point there'll be no editing unless my camera shuts off and I have to restart it. So first of all I'm going to go in with This Works In Transit Camera Close Up. This is my um, Mask Moisturiser and Primer in one. I'm going to take a few pumps of that and pop this onto the skin. And don't worry I have washed my hands before I'm touching my face. Okay, then I'm going to go in with, um, I've been using this recently under foundation, it actually makes my foundation look really nice, and it's usually a product I use more in the summer, but it's the Dr. Hushka Bronzing Tint. So I'm just going to put a pump onto the back of my hand, take a buffing brush, this is the Luxie 534 Angled Top buff Buffer, I'm going to buff this into my skin. Yeah, so I hope this video isn't going to be too boring, because obviously, usually I edit quite bits out and stuff. But, so, starting on to the questions, I guess. Let me have a look. So, Emily asked, so Emily asked a few questions. So, one of them was, how is the no buy going? So, obviously, it's been just over a week since I started to no buy. And actually, a few of you have also joined me on this. And it's gone absolutely fine. I haven't had to repurchase anything yet. Like I said, I think potentially mascara and powder might be something I might have to repurchase as I'm going to run out completely. But so far, so good. Um, I haven't been tempted by anything, which kind of leads on to a second question. Have you been tempted to buy anything? If so, what? Um, so, no. As I said before when I was starting this, um, I'm just going to go in my Hint Beauty Concealer as always. And I'm, I'm going to put this as a foundation as well as concealer. So, as... Um, I said before, um, things, I did want to try the Ether Beauty lip creams because they look really pretty and I just really am glad that I get, I tried Ether Beauty because it is a beautiful brand. Um, and yeah, I'm so glad, glad you guys recommended for me to try it. Um, but like I said before, you can't get them in the UK, the only, you can't even get them on their, on their website, it's only available on the US Sephora, which we can't get to in Europe, UK. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of one thing that's new that I wanted to, to try. And then apart from that, it's just, like I said, picking up more shades of things I've already got. So in the last video, I used the Benacos, um Eye Pencil in Bright Blue as a colour base for my eyeshadow, and I loved it. So obviously I want to get more of those. They got it in green, purple and stuff, because like I said, I think it works really well if you're doing a colourful look to act as a base. Um... But apart from that, nothing new wise has come out. I did kind of like the look of the Linda Halberg Interstellar like glitter eye topper because it looks really cool and I love the work she does on Instagram. If you want someone to follow who does like kind of the real editorial fun looks, do go follow her because she does some really amazing, amazing looks. And she's not someone who necessarily cakes the face either so she always has like really natural looking skin but there's really like dramatic eyes which I really like because I kind of prefer a slightly more of a natural skin yes I like to go in foundation like I am now 
but I still like kind of my freckles to show through and for my skin to still look quite natural looking. Um, so that's what I like about her. Okay. One thing I didn't do was lay out my brushes ready to go. So this is a mistake on my part. Because now I have to find my concealer brush. Where did that go? It was hiding. So, where's my concealer? It's now here. So, going in with a brush and just popping this on the usual areas. But if you're someone who's also joining me on the no buy, is there anything you guys have been um, drawn to and stuff like that? Or even if you're on, even if you're not on a no buy. Is there any new releases that you've kind of found yourself really tempted by? And stuff like that. Because so I'd be intrigued to know. And obviously I'd always want to pick up more of my Lily Lolo Minute Eyeshadows. Because I do enjoy them a lot. Actually on that last Lily Lolo Full Face video I did, someone did say that I was like, you should be an ambassador or something for Lily Lolo, the amount of videos you do and looks with them. And that would be pretty cool actually, to be the amb ambassador. Or, oh, I'd love to do some kind of like collab with them. I think that's the only brand as of now, if someone said, would you want to collab with a brand, that's the only one I would, I think. Um, and if I were able to create a new product or new shade, I know exactly what I'd do as well, so um, that would be pretty cool. Because as you know, well, I think I've mentioned before, one of my favourite kind of summer lips to go for is orange. And I don't really have any orange lipsticks in my collection, as again, I think I mentioned before, so you guys recommended some for me. And that's going to be, because when my no buy kind of stops, it will be heading into summer, so it's going to be a perfect time to get some. And what I noticed with Lily Lolo is that in the lip liners, they've got like nude pink, red, and the lipsticks, it kind of follows in that path as well. There are some kind of slightly different tones in between, like peachy tones. And some kind of like berry purpley tones and my like brown tones. But then the lip glosses go from like nude pink to orange. Which is interesting. So if I had the opportunity, I think I'd definitely do like a lip line in orange. I'd design a lipstick of an orange shade. But then a lip gloss that's red. Because obviously they've already got an orange lip gloss. And I think it actually worked quite nicely together and perfect for the summer. So... But yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. And like I said, I think it's the only brand as of right now that if I had the opportunity... I would do. So I'm going to go in with the 100% Pure powder now and set everything in place. So I have started actually powdering the whole face now. I used to only powder my T-zone, but because um, I do get shiny at the end of the day still, and actually this powder is so lightweight, I don't mind putting it over the skin completely, because as you see, it still gives a glow to my skin, or it still allows my skin to have a glow, which I really like. I don't like a matte finish, despite the fact I'm oily. So I have started actually setting the whole face. I do actually quite enjoy it, but I just do like a light amount over the face, nothing too heavy. Okay, moving on to bronzer. So I'm going to go in with the Sculpt and Glow. Oh no. I picked up my empty one. Hang on, two seconds while I've got the full one. Okay. So this is my one that I can use. So Sculpt and Glow from Lily Lolo. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my same brush I always use, so the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush, and warm up my skin. I think it's quite interesting to do this kind of real time um, look because I do get a few comments saying I do my base makeup really fast. 
I don't know if that's because I actually do or it's just that I edit bits out so it's not too long so it'll be interesting to see but actually I think my base makeup is probably one of my fastest steps over like my eyes and stuff like that just because I don't like to go too heavy I like a bit more of a natural look so I don't need to like go in with lots and stuff so that's my bronzer I think I'm going to go with the liquid highlighter today so I'm going to do that next in the blush I'm going to go in my My Chia Highlight of the Day in Golden Hour just give it a little bit of a shake and let's answer another question whilst I'm here Oh, right, so Jennifer Zayada, I don't know if that's how I pronounce your surname, so I apologise. What is your favourite palette? Which is a tricky one, because it depends what mood I'm in, whether I'm in the mood for colour or neutral. So I'm just popping some of the back of my hand. I'd say probably I go neutral more often, and right now, the one that I seem to use a lot is actually the Ether Beauty Solstice palette. Just because I find it really easy... Oh no, I don't want that brush... I find it really easy to use and uh, you can create kind of really soft looks but you can also create really kind of intense looks as well and actually on one of Sunday's picture I think it was for my 100 days of makeup on my Instagram I did a soft uh, fresh versus fierce look which was inspired by Katie, Katie Hodges here where she did the exact same palette and used the exact same shades and just created on one eye a soft look and then on the other eye a slightly more like fierce look, so fresh versus fierce. And I did that with that palette and it works so well. I just think as much as um, I love like my Carnival palette, obviously I just don't wear that amount of kind of colour every day as much as I love to play with colour. And then also my Amethyst palette, for some reason I thought out of the, all the palettes from Ether Beauty that would be the one that I'd use the most but actually because I love purples and stuff but Solstice is definitely up there I find myself gravitating towards that one the most so I think right as right as of right now the Solstice would be the palette of choice if I only had to pick one okay so that's in just a nice kind of glow to the skin which I love and I'm not don't be afraid of like putting liquids over powders I much prefer that especially because I'm oily I need to set my skin, so then I don't mind going, if I've set the skin, I'm quite happy to, if, as long as I dab, I can go over with a liquid product and it shouldn't disrupt the makeup. So, if you're also someone like that, just try it, and honestly, as long as you dab really lightly, you shouldn't disrupt anything underneath. And I think it's a great way of incorporating liquids and creams into a routine, especially for an oily skin. So I'm going to go with the Coralista from Lily Lolo as my blusher of choice. And again, dabbing blush over the liquid um, highlighter, I never have an issue with. As long as I think you dab and don't pick up too much at once, so there's no chance of it sticking to one place, then I honestly think it works fine. Okay, so I've been filming for almost 12 minutes, and this is my base done. So maybe I do do quite a quick brace. I don't know. I thought it might be interesting to do this again, but doing like a really basic, like, everyday makeup where it's kind of like a no makeup makeup and just show it in real time because that's always quite good okay so that is my base makeup done moving on to the eyes so obviously I want to go in with my eyebrows next I prefer doing my, my thing keeps changing At right now I prefer doing brows once my face is on because I feel like it goes on better for some reason um, I know some people prefer to do brows very first but I like to do skin first and then brows at the moment so I'm going with my Lily Lolo eyebrow powder which is an absolute mess on an angled brush and I'm not someone again who likes to do really um, in depth brows I won't spend, I know some people like to spend like ages sculpting and all sorts. I'm someone who, I don't have a brow gel at the moment that I'm using. I have got that gosh one, but I never seem to grab it. So, yeah, I just go in and shape. Sometimes it comes out perfectly, like, in all honesty, I'm happy with that. It's quite a big brow, actually, but I'm happy with that. I don't spend hours on it because it's just not... Honestly, not my favourite kind of makeup step to do. 
And yeah, like I said, I'm not someone who will spend ages doing it. I mean, I will admit that's quite a, a big brow. And if I do do something like that, all I can do is I will take my concealer brush and just kind of wash over the front portion just to tone it down. But yeah, that's all I'll do for my brows. I still need to try out that brow pomade that Emily gave me from Nabla. Because I used to love pomades, but now I kind of use... I'm kind of really into powders, and especially with this one, you get a wax as well. So sometimes I'll mix in a little bit of the wax, and it kind of creates a pomade, and it's just easy to use. But yeah. And I will admit, they'll never be even. I'm not too concerned, if I'm being honest, about them being completely even. Because it just won't happen. So, yeah. I tell you what, I'm not enjoying my hair straight. I don't often do straight hair, and I just thought I'd do something different, but I think because my hair is like one, well, it's meant to be one length-ish, and it's quite thick, it just gives it a kind of bulky finish. So, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, moving on to eyes. I'm going to obviously go in my eye primer from Lily Lolo to begin with. I'll take it on my concealer brush. So yeah, I'm going to Ether Beauty Rose Quartz, and like I said, I'm not going to do anything super glam because I'm going to work, but I'm also not going to keep it simple, or that simple, because I want to make it interesting as well. So, I don't know what I want to do though. Um, I'm going to start off with a wash of colour across the lid, I think. So I'm going to first of all... Go in with Scorpio first on a fluffy brush. And I'm going to start working this through the crease. It's going to act as my transition and kind of the base for the rest of the colours, I think. This probably should answer another question as well. Okay. So next question is from NK1. And... Yeah, I can what are your, I don't know why I couldn't read that then, what are your desert island makeup products? So, my desert island makeup products, I, it changes I think, sometimes I definitely want my concealer, my Hint Beauty concealer so I can cover like spots or give some coverage to the skin, but weirdly the other day I was doing like a mini workout and I had no makeup on obviously and I was quite like sweaty and shiny off afterwards. But I really liked how kind of glowy my skin was, even though it was sweat, which is disgusting. But I've come to the conclusion that actually my skin looked quite healthy though, weirdly. And I think I I always prefer a glowy base over a matte base, despite the fact I've got oily skin. So I think one of the products I definitely would bring along with me is some kind of highlighter. And because I'd probably go... I'd probably take one of each. I'd probably go with the liquid, so the My Cheer... And then I'll probably go in champagne from Lily Lolo as my matte option. I'm just going to go in with actually a different brush. Just, I'm just going to wipe that off. So I've got a face halo here so I can wipe off if I want to get rid of any previous shade. Okay, so a bit cleaner now. I'm going to go back in with Scorpio, but because I'm using a denser blending brush, it's just going to um, give more depth. So yeah, so I take one of those, or both of those, and then I think I take my Dr. Huska bronzing tint because it then will make me, because I'm quite a fair person, I just think it adds like a nice healthy bronze to the skin. And then, is there any really other product I'd bring? 
you know, I think that's honestly it. As long as my skin looked like it was healthy and glowy with those three, kind of two or three products, I think I'd be happy. I mean, maybe mascara just for my upper lashes to kind of make them look more open and awake. Or I could just go and get lash extensions before I went to this desert island, but no. Um, yeah, I think those would be my key products I would bring. So very minimal, I know, but... Yeah. And maybe some kind of like lip gloss or lip oil just to make the lips look kind of shiny and healthy as well. But brows, I can live without, that's fine. Um, although I do love blusher. Maybe a cream blusher or something like that. No, I'll just stick to the bronzers. As much as I miss eyeshadow, I on a desert island, no one's going to really see any of the looks anyway, so that's fine. I can live without that. So I'm just going back and forth between the two brushes with that Scorpio shade just to kind of build up and then blend. What I think I will do... Oh, obviously I didn't wash my eyes properly this morning. Um, is I'll take Scorpio on that blending brush and also take it along the lower lash line just to tie it all together. Again, just blend out. This probably would be quicker if I wasn't talking and kind of um, answering questions in the meantime, but I just thought it'd make it slightly more interesting to answer questions and things like that. So the next few are kind of more like topics I was asked to talk about. Um, so sorry, I'm just gonna go in with this one. Aphrodite here and just deep, start deepening up the outer corner going with that same kind of blending brush. So Celestia Eyes asked um, how did my night out go, so the last get ready with me, which I did as a voiceover, I was actually obviously going out with um, some people from work, so I was asked how that night out went, so it was really fun, so one of the girls has gone travelling now, um, to Thailand and then Australia, um, which I'd imagine she might have to do some self isolating at some point during that because obviously with everything that's going on um but yeah so she went off to that so we kind of went out for a few drinks which was really nice and stuff like that and we don't opt the only time we really do that is um like staff christmas kind of party so it's quite nice just to go out and chat and not it be work related as such and i will admit i'm not someone who goes out that often since I probably left uni, I haven't really gone out, out properly. And we didn't go out properly, we just went out for a few drinks. Um, I like that phrase, we went out but not out, out. Um, for a few drinks. And yeah, it was fun. Um, got back quite late for me, which was horrifying. No, it was fun. Um, I think I got in about midnight, which some people isn't that late, but I'm usually in bed by that time, so... Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We did Zambuca shots, which I'm not a fan of Zambuca, so that could have gone really wrong. Yeah, it's probably the most I've drunk for a very long time. I don't really do heavy drinking anymore. And I didn't actually do that much heavy drinking anyway, because it's not that good for you. Um, but what was weird is the next night, um, I went out with other, um, my friends because it was one of my friends' birthday coming up, so we did like a birthday meal which turned into birthday drinks out afterwards. And again, I got in just gone midnight. Which doesn't sound that crazy, but for me, that's quite late. So I'm now dipping into um, grounding, which is a deeper grey, just to deepen it up a bit more on this outer portion. But sometimes it's quite nice just to go out for a few drinks with friends. And I think we used to do it more, go out for like one drink or two drinks when we lived kind of more in the centre of town in the flat because obviously now we've moved to a house but it's slightly it's still in walking distance of town but we were like right in the center before so it was kind of like 
and we get home from work and she's like should we go for a drink and you know we just go around the corner for a quick drink just to kind of look like we're socializing out um because we don't always do that unless we're going out for dates with guys it doesn't really happen i haven't really been on a date with a guy for a very long time so yeah um so yeah no no it was a really nice night so i'm just picking up some of sandstone now just to kind of go over everything and make sure it's blended so no it was a really nice kind of couple of nights out i stayed in on sunday though because i was like i'm not going out again and i haven't been out since drinking so that just shows how often i do it but yeah I think the final topic I got asked about, if it was the final one, so Nina Kaiser um, asked if I could talk more about my dog in this video, and so he isn't my dog, obviously he's my housemate's dog, Bertie, I mean Bertie's the dog, Emma's my housemate, um, oh, right, two seconds because my camera is flashing at me because it's back, so it already stopped before I had a chance to say it, it stopped, um, so yeah, so Bertie is my housemate, Emma's dog, um he is now just over one years old um he's had some issues as in he hasn't been very well since when did it first happen beginning of summer last year so maybe june time june july he i won't say where he was bleeding from but he was bleeding from a certain area um and he had to go on steroids and stuff to stop it and then he came off he's kind of been on and off um it's something to do with C-protein reaction, or I don't really understand. Um, but yeah, then he started bleeding from other areas, and he kind of got really lethargic really easily, and he couldn't stand, he was quite, he was throwing up as well. So Emma hasn't had a great time with him as her first puppy, um, especially his first year as well. Um, but now he's like, once he's on his drugs, he literally wouldn't have a clue that he's not very well. But he's got like, they think he's got some kind of autoimmune disease. So I'm going to go, sorry, go in with crystalline now. So they think he's got some kind of autoimmune disease, but they can't test to prove that. They can only test to prove what it's not, if that makes sense. So anyway, he's on steroids now. He was on four, he's down to just the one, which is good. Um, and then he's also on um, an immune suppressant thing as well. Um, to stop him throwing up. Which that he'll, that drug he'll be on for the rest of his life. And it potentially might shorten his lifespan by a couple of years. We don't know. So yeah, that's been fun for Emma. For obviously very costly as well. Her limit on her insurance is almost to the max. So that's been fun. But apart from that, he's, he's good. He's grown quite a lot. He won't grow anymore, I don't think, because of the drugs. I think his growth has been stunted slightly. But... Overall, literally, if you saw him, you wouldn't even have a clue. Apart from the time when he was actually ill, if you saw him, you'd definitely know. But no, he is, apart from that, he's absolutely fine. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go in with... What's the time? I need to keep on the time because I'm going to work. Okay. All good. Um... What do I want to do next is the question. I'm going to keep on going with crystalline. Just bring it a bit further over the lid, actually. So it's a very, like, cool-toned look. So I've got quite a few video ideas coming up that I like to do. I do have got a few requested videos. So my next video probably will be me playing with the Super Shock shirts from Colourpop. Because, like I said, I haven't played with those for a while. And they were kind of second on the poll as to which I use for this video. Um, I also did get a request. I'm sorry, I'm going to go in with Rose Quartz now. Here. I did get a request to do um, bridal makeup looks. So someone, one of my subscribers, I, I can't think what your name is right now, Fanny Crane? No, that's wrong. Um, Says so that she's getting married soon, but she can't decide like on a cool tone or wool tone, warm toned bridal look. So I think I'm going to do a video of very two very classic bridal looks, and almost identical, but one using cool tones, one using warm tones. Um, and actually this is a great palette for the cool toned and then my solstice would be great for the warm toned um, But yeah, so I'm gonna have that video up coming up soon-ish 
I did get asked to do a perfume review of some Clean Beauty perfumes. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so perfume I can buy because it's not makeup related, but I might just get samples to try out. Um, to do that. So if you've got any recommendations for ones you think I should try, let me know. I'm not a fan of really heavy scents because they will give me headaches. I like kind of fresher scents and things like that. So yeah. I'm going to take some rose quartz and actually use it as a brow bone highlight, ever so lightly. Okay, going in with... Stardust. Which is kind of like a more of a sheen. It's not a shimmer, it's not a matte, it's definitely a sheen. I'm going to pick it up on the same brush. I'm going to pop this in my inner corner. It'll just give a nice, like, brightening effect there. I'm actually going to take some more qu rose quartz and run that along this part of the lower lash line. I'm using the exact same brush for this all. Now if you want a more intense kind of shadow on the lid, I'd wet this rose quartz because it's probably like the least, gives the least impact of all the shimmers in here. But I'm kind of like the softness that it's giving with the rest of the look. So I quite like this. Okay, I'm going to take a bit more grounding just right on this outer portion. Is that grounding? Or... Yeah, grounding. Just to re really deepen up a bit more on this outer portion here on the lower lash line. Also, I still really want to do this kind of makeup through the ages. I keep saying that and I never get around to doing it. And I was originally going to do it to so have a week long of doing the different looks but i think that's too much so i'm going to start off week by week week picking so i'm going to start off the 1920s and kind of work my way that way and what i might do is kind of base them around certain icons that way instead of just doing generic 60s or generic 80s look if that makes sense i'll actually base it on a person and try and do an inspired look that way maybe include outfit i haven't decided depends how much money i have um because obviously I, I don't earn lots. Um, so yeah. Also, speaking, because I mentioned about my hair earlier. I do get a lot of questions when I have my hair down as to what I'm... Um, how I style it with the... When I usually curl it. I thought, because I'm not very expen experimental when it comes to hair. I do like to watch some hair people on YouTube. So, um, someone who I first discovered who's quite a popular one, is Kaylee Melissa. Um, although when I first started watching her, she did have long hair, and I've pretty much, not always had short to medium hair, but for the last six years, I always have. So it's quite hard to see some of her looks, but she has now cut it. So she does looks on her, and then also her sister for the longer hair looks versions. And then another person who I kind of discovered afterwards, who does have kind of more my hair length, is Milano. Milana? I think her channel's called Mala Malibu. I know it's Milano. Milano? That could be wrong. Um, she also has really cool hair looks. So I thought it might be interesting to do a video of me recreating certain hair looks. Nothing too like adventurous. Some kind of wearable everyday looks. Hair like for up and down. I thought it might be quite interesting. But if you've if you've got um, people that you like to watch for hair inspiration let me know down below so i thought it might be quite interesting to a video of me trying i might do like a video of like a week of different hairstyles i don't usually do up and down um obviously because i go to work i have to put my hair up so i'm actually i don't know why i bother straightening my hair because it is gonna have to go up for work but because i never have my hair down often i really wanted to have it down just for the beginning part um so yeah thought it'd make for a bit more interesting video. I'm uh, sorry, I'm going in with the Kiko mascara. I'm trying to, like I said, in my previous uses up so I can then focus on my big lash.
But obviously keep your video suggestions coming. I've got a whole bunch that I really want to do and that I will do. Oh no. Oh, is this? My coffee always goes cold. Um, that I want to do. But always let me know what kind of you want to see as well. Because I'm always happy to incorporate like a mixture of both. Because sometimes you guys create, uh, come up with some really cool ideas. Which actually, funny enough, someone said the other day when I was doing... Was it in my makeup collection video? I can't remember. Where someone did say... So I'm trying to look for my lip liner. And my lipstick. Where is it? Um, so it was quite interesting to, if I like to see products used for different purposes. So sometimes I do that with like Ritual de Fee. You can do that quite easily where you do um, where you can use them kind of multi-purposely. So I thought it might be quite cool to come up with a video of using kind of products that are meant for certain something else, but use them in other ways. Um, so that's another kind of video idea that was kind of inspired by one of you guys that I quite like to do as well. So this is the Lily Lolo Nude Lip Liner. Cool, and then going in with, ah, it's right here, the Benacos Pink Honey Lipstick. And yeah, once the three months no buys up, this is another one I'm going to repurchase. Okay. So that is this makeup look complete. So it didn't take me too long to do. And it's not like, like I said, I didn't want to go super grand because I'm going to work. But it's not obviously like a minimal everyday look either. I wanted to make sure it was like good amount of makeup being done for this video um so i hope you enjoyed it and thank you i should have found out i should have looked up who suggested this in the first place because i can't remember i will leave their name linked here with who suggested this video because i should have looked that before i started um but yeah thank you because it was it is quite interesting to see actually how long it takes to do a makeup look because a lot of the time if i'm rambling i will edit out and also i've noticed i'm quite a can be quite a fast speaker um so sometimes i edit out because you can't necessarily understand what i'm saying i know like a lot of you are like from germany and other places as well um like around europe i have a few from america i think but not like as many as i do around europe and the uk so i'm very aware that sometimes i speak quite fast so that's why i tend to edit bits out if i think you can't understand what i'm saying and sometimes i can go off on tangents as well but i really hope you enjoyed this video um, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you like the makeup look and stuff like that? Like I said, if you did vote for the Colourpop Super Shock shadows or any of the other um, eye palettes that I put in that poll, don't worry because they will kind of be featured like randomly throughout the next few videos because that's what I try and do. Um, and yeah, I hope you found this interesting. Leave me any thoughts and opinions down below. Any further questions you have, also leave them down below. Answer them. Future kind of videos you'd like to see from me and stuff like that and yeah i really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go and drink the rest of my cold coffee and yeah i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching